Lions fans, Alan Christensen here. We're doing Locker Talk and we're talking about Game of Thrones. Hope you enjoyed. All right, got Jacob Allison here with me. We're talking Game of Thrones today, mate. Um, do you watch the show? I definitely do, yes. I think I've watched the whole thing probably three times, so I'd like to binge it and rewatch it. Yeah. So he's a throne head, everyone? Yeah, I do watch it. Do you like my Game of Thrones? And how long did it take you to get through all seven series? Two weeks. Unbelievable. Massive Game of Thrones fan, aren't you, Archie? Huge. Absolutely huge. Don't miss it. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. HBO um, every Monday. Can't wait. Yep. We're meant to be at training at that time, but there you are <laughs> watching Game of Thrones at home, so that's good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's, that's where I am. <laughs> nah, I'm not really a fan. Just have a few more shows that are more important to me, I guess. I haven't really got into it. Give us another show that's more important than the best show that's ever graced the planet Earth. Um, been watching Blacklist a fair bit at the moment. Um, but yeah, not, not a massive TV series fan, more, more just uh, play Xbox and uh, <laughs> chill at home, I reckon, yeah. Who's the most obsessed with the show, do you reckon? Besides yourself, obviously. I think Joycey, Tom Joyce, went through it in about two weeks, the whole show, so I think that's probably like seven or eight episodes a day, so I reckon that's, that's pretty good. Probably Lighty, physio. Yep. Yeah, Lighty loves it. Yeah, Lighty does love it. He, uh, he came in the other day and uh, was carrying on about it episode one of season eight and just like shut up right probably yeah probably me um i'm aware of all the family's um lineage and uh all the family trees what's going on who's sleeping with who who's who's killing who i'm ready i, I know i know i can't wait for next week i've lost sleep over it you could run like the women's woman's day of like westeros yeah, all, all men's health, you know, <laughs> equality, 2019. Um, so, uh, any, any, <laughs> um, I know Archie is, is a huge fan. He uh, he waits around for it every week, so I'd probably say him. Who do you reckon's the worst with spoilers? Who's the bloke who comes in on the physio room, into the physio room, and goes, "Oh, this has happened." Uh, maybe Charlie Cameron. I reckon he came through when Harris is only at season four and was saying things from season seven, so he was a bit angry and blocking his ears and Charlie had no idea what he was talking about, but nah, it was pretty fun. Who's the worst with spoilers? Did anyone try and ruin the show for you? No, no one actually did. Everyone was pretty good with it, to be honest. So. It's a great team culture. Um, yeah, there's people starting like season three now yeah. and it's, it's frustrating. <laughs> just, just keep up, it's not that hard. Uh, but probably Cam Rayner, he watched, I missed um, the start of the episode with Cam will text me and go, how good is this? And before something's happened, so yeah, I've liked him. Um, <laughs> uh, but Charlie Cameron comes over my house, um, we get dressed up, we wear capes every Monday at 11 a.m. to watch. So tune in, showcase, Fox now. Yeah, probably Archie, he's always gone around the club telling people what happens and stuff, so I heard he spoils a fair, fair bit, so. Uh, who from the club do you reckon should sit on the Iron Throne? Uh, oh, you've got to go to the skiff, I'd just say Zork. King of the club, king of the throne, yeah, should take it. King of Queensland. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Say yourself. I'm considering that. <laughs> <laughs> Richie just looks like a Lannister, doesn't he? Yeah, no, great call. Uh, yeah, so probably Richie with his stupid long hair. Um, or he looks like Daenerys a little bit as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or Brianna Tarr. <laughs> <laughs> I think Archie deserves to sit on the throne. <laughs> 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 yeah, he just loves it that much. I feel like he really deserves it. <laughs> <laughs>